Hello, welcome to our new video. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous sync system on a HP 364 uh, printer. It's one that uses four cartridges. The test model is the B110A uh, or CN245B. Fit method is exactly the same for the B109, the B111. Uh, Office Jet 6000, 6500. There's a few few slight things that look a bit different, but the fundamental fit method uh, is the same. So at the moment, I've got the printer powered on, uh, and I've got the print head in the ink cartridge change position. But, we've, but before we actually do that, we need to talk about preparing the continuous ink system. So at the moment. I've already transferred the chips which uh, I've shown you in detail uh, on another video but before we install it I can see some air in the line which does need to be removed so uh, really if you get any more than about four inches of air uh, ideally that should be removed so while the system's in use the back compartment of the cartridges which hold the ink should always have at least 50 well above 25 percent ink level in them if they haven't got that much ink in them then you're going to get poor results uh, or poor quality uh, results so reasons that they can basically empty is the cartridge is unclipped after it's installed uh, lack of use so it's left for quite a period so but otherwise you know when you first get it the back compartment of the cartridge should be full of ink uh, and you should remove the air if you don't remove the air from the ink system what will happen is that piece of air will travel down to the cartridge It'll go into the back compartment, fill part of that void up uh, and then the ink will come down and it won't be able to get in there because it'll be full of air, it'll be trapped, so you need to remove it. So looking at this one, the only one I need to do really on this is the black one, uh, the black ink line. So I'm going to pop them upside down uh, and then what we're going to do is on the side of the roll I'm going to move the ink, system, the ink line to the up position like so. Uh, and then for the black we're going to remove the small the small black rubber plug and the large one we're just going to pop them to one side just just while we're doing this priming one thing worth checking when you fit, when you first install it really is the uh, the ink line at the side where it's been clamped so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up and I'm going to feed it out through the bottom and you'll see what I mean so it pop that roller to one side it depends how long it's been sat on the shelf to be honest so if you actually look at that I think you can see the break in the ink line and that's just where the roller's uh, been holding it so when you're first installing it what I would do is I would put it in, your, in between your thumb and your finger and I would just roll it for about I don't know 20 seconds 30 seconds and what you're looking for is that whereas before there was a, a break in the ink line that, that ink, that, that's actually gone so I think most of them have been done now, I'm just going to do them a bit more yeah so I'm happy with that now, there's, there, there's no breaks in the ink line you can see, let's move that one out of the way uh, you can see there that it, it's all the way through, so I'm just going to pop that back up now like so, and then I'm going to pop my roller back in at the top which the rollers normally have to come in. I think it's that way. It's been a while since I've done that one. Yeah, so the roll, I pop the roller back in. So that bit's okay now. So I do need to remove that piece of air. So as I said, so I've got the plug out, and then using the fine sharp syringe, it must be with these uh, with these fine sharp syringes. You must only use them. So I'm going to sit insert it into the cartridge like that, and then what I'm going to draw back. Now, if you watch the ink line here you're going to see that the ink is just going to shoot down the line there we are and I would hold it I would hold it for a few seconds until it starts bubbling or until you get solid solid ink in your syringe and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt that back into the reservoir so please don't mind the yellow ink on my hands that was uh, from something that I was doing earlier I should have washed my hands before I did this video. Right, okay, so I've primed the black cartridge and you can see now that it, the ink line, uh, it's, it's full basically. There's no air in it at all. So I'm just going to put this system back as it was temporarily. I'm going to pop all the plugs back in. Right, so the next piece. So we need to install the cartridge, but before that we need to, uh, let's move the camera, we need to install some silicon seals on the print head. 
So what I'm going to do is, I've got it, the cartridge bay in the middle, I'm going to lift the arm up, like so, and I'm just going to pop this out, I'm going to tilt it towards me in that action there. And what I need to do is, I need to install some silicon seals. So within your accessory pack, you'll get a little uh, pack like this with some small rubber washers on. They have to be fitted on top of the, wa the washers that are already there in the printer. So the purpose of the silicon seals, basically, it just, just performs an airtight seal around the bottom of the cartridge. So within your accessory pack as well, you should have some tweezers. Uh, and what we're going to do is, we're going to place these on, and they will only go one way, and you'll clearly see uh, it won't sit right if you're trying to put it on backwards. So I'm just going to pop one of these on each one. So I can see looking at that one, I've put that one on backwards, it's not quite right. Yeah, so actually looking at the seals themselves. If you look at the round so I'll show you on the next one actually. Now I've not done this, I've not done this model before, this is the first time, not even looked at the instructions to be honest. Right. So if you look at the silicon seal itself, it, it appears that the the back compartment it's actually wider at the back than it is at the front. So the actual placement of the seal should be with the narrower point at the front. So straight in narrow point at the front. If you try and put it in the other way uh, you get a bit of a lip on the lip on it and I've got no doubt at all that you're going to put your cartridge in and uh, it's not going to seat it's not going to seat correctly and it's just going to let air in. So remember that piece from the video that you need to make sure the silicon seals are actually in the correct way around. So what I would do is I would use this video as an install guide. You can use the manuals, but we prefer the videos. They're a lot easier. Right, okay, and the last one, and again, it's the same. It's the same principle. That the thinner end is to the front. Yeah, so that's it. All the all the air filters are installed. Uh, all the silicon seals are installed. We'll pop that back in the printer, and then we'll pop the head down, and that's it. It's fully locked in place. So, on to the next bit. Actually, installing the continuous ink system. So basically, the, the way it's fitted is it's roughly like that. T bar over here, nice straight loop round to here. But what you need to make sure before you start to install. One, you need to make sure your roller's in the down position. <coughs> All the plugs are in, uh, and nothing's removed, and then we'll remove the orange caps. So the reason I just said that one there is it, when you take the orange caps off, you don't want any ink coming out, so it's going to be completely mess-free when you do it this way. Turn your cartridges upside down in one hand, and then remove all the orange caps with the other hand so you can see but keep it raised in there so you can see I've already put the chips on now I've not tested them at all to be honest I've no idea if I've put them in the right place so I'm just gonna first time around then I'm gonna split spin it over and straight in in one go just like this and then the black one into place uh, so make sure they're all fully clipped in. So as you can see, no mess at all doing it that, that way at all. So it's a classic mistake there. I need to power the printer off. So what I did was I put the cartridges in and uh, the, the printer should have been switched off. So that's just a reminder to you because as soon as it had them in, the printer had started to move. So back to the beginning, printer off, get it in the middle, printer off and then leave it. So we need to fit the uh, incline arm now. Here. So the way this is going to work is it's going to it's going to work it's going to be fitted like this and then it's going to come over to the left and then back over to the right hand side. So there is uh, let's just move that here. 
Yeah, so our arm's going to go just here. I mean, to be honest, it can go just at the edge of, just at the edge here, just like that. So if you turn it over, you'll see two green pads. So you need to remove the green backing tape from them. So at the moment, the print head's over on the far right hand side. It doesn't really matter where it is for now, but we're going to adjust that. So, and then what I'm going to do is the green pads. My second pad here is going to be right up to the edge, just here. So if you actually look, we're, it's here at the edge and the second green pad is over here. So at the moment, and then the print head's right over here on the right hand side. What you need to do is you need to manually run it over to the left and then back to the right. And what you're looking for is that there's no twisting, no snagging, uh, and the ink line should be a little bit tight. That's perfectly normal for it to be tight. Back over to the left hand side and then back over to the right hand side. So the next thing that we need to do, we need to remove the green backing tape from this. So we're just going to remove the tape and we're going to affix this clip over on the right hand side of the printer. So it doesn't matter, you can fix it anyway, you can fix it down here at the front, up there, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to affix mine down here over on the right hand side. So that's it, that, that, that's that part installed really. Uh, and again, just checking there's no air in the system, no nothing. Uh, so it's very important with these systems that they get used on a regular basis, you know, or they, do t they will let air in. So probably at least once a fortnight, once every three weeks, try and run a document through it as well. Uh, if you lift the cartridges out after they've been installed, you can get a little bit more air in here and if you keep doing it, air will build up, it will travel to the cartridge. So once the system's installed, you're better off just leaving them. Don't take them out, you know, unless you've really got to, because if you take them out, sometimes they can, can let air in, and then you have to go back and reprime it again. Uh, and that, that's it. So that part of it's installed. So I'm going to switch the printer back on now, and it may run through some uh, pre-checks, so to speak. Now I've got no idea if the chips are going to be recognised, so I might not have put them, I've just put them on. <laughs> I've just done a video for chip transfer before this one and I've just placed them on. So, you know, if you need to see chip transfer, you need to see our other video. So I've just put it on at the moment, I'm going to see whether it's going to recognise the cartridges. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't go quite right first time and you have to slightly adjust the chip. <coughs> Chances are, if you need to adjust the chip, it's going to be the black one. The black one appears to be uh, a lead colour. So while it's still thinking about that uh, on the status monitor, I'm going to have a look at the assist, and the assist itself. So you can move the roll up to the up position now, uh, and then you need to remove the four small flat plugs on top. Right, so. Like so. Uh, and then we're going to install the air filter. So within your accessory pack, you have some spinning tops, what we call them air filters, they need to be inserted with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and that's it, so that must be sat at the same level as the base of the printer, it can go over here to the right of the printer and um, that's just going to where we're, where we're going to pop it, it should never be raised in the air, if you raise it in the air it will flood your printer, so over there on the right hand side so at the moment it's telling me, uh, ideally I wanted to show you it working with the, uh, with the uh, lid open, uh, you don't have to print that way. So at the moment it's telling me that the ink cartridge door is open, let's just spin that around, I don't think you can see that, yeah, ink cartridge door is open. Uh, so there is, a little, there's a little, little button here underneath, can't get my camera under that. So I'm going to stick a sticker under there and that will trick the printer into thinking that the door is closed. And then let's just have a look. So it's going to run through some pre-checks now. It says printer uh, preparation. Please wait. So like I said, it's running through its pre-checks. It may take a minute to do that. I've not got this hooked up to a printer at all, so I've just got uh, a book underneath the scanner 
I've just got a book underneath the scanner lid uh, and then I'm going to try and do a copy scan so I don't think this print has been used for about uh, at least four months. It was an old second hand one we bought from eBay uh, to do this video. So I want to try and do a print, but the, the basic principle of that is how the system is installed. I think it's uh, I think it's finished now. I think uh, yeah, all the cartridges are, are recognised. So I think so. I'm going to try and scan a document. Uh, but I mean, ideally, I should have to do some head cleans first. But I don't know. Uh, scan. Okay. Uh, scan. Reprint. Okay. Uh, so it's going to it's scanning a document now. Yeah, so it's previewed it first, uh, press the OK, and print, well, it's printing a 6x4 copy, but like I said I've done no head cleans, just wanted you to see it actually working. All I've done is, is I've just put uh, an instruction, continuous ink system instruction manual underneath the scanner. And to be honest, I'm quite pleased actually, considering it's not been used for months and uh, it was a second hand printer from eBay. No head clean, straight in. I'm very pleased with that. With that, so there's a few there's a, there's a few roller marks on it, uh, but but now I mean that's pretty much how the uh, the instruction manual looks, which I'll show you anyway. But it, that's pretty much how the instruction manual looks anyway. So yeah, probably a couple of head cleans might help that. But just one thing I, I have just noticed, which I, I do really want to point out to you, is that's just going to power the printer down. Uh, so I've powered the printer down. Just wanted to show you is really there is this, how close this gets to the bottom here. So what you want to check is really is that, that that ink line shouldn't be scraping on the bottom. It's perfectly fine to get close. I mean that is, that is, that looks like it, it's really close but it's not actually touching. So I mean you could, you could just adjust that ink line a very very slight bit but you need to be careful when adjusting it. It still needs to be able to reach the right hand side so I've adjusted it slightly and it, it's got plenty of clearance there uh, but as you can see yeah no that's fine it can still reach all the way over to the left hand side but when it comes back to the right yeah I've still got some clearance yeah now I'm happy with that and uh, that's how you fit the continuous ink system uh, for the HP 364 cartridge machines from City Ink Express Thank you.